Garth Tander and Steve McLaughlin will start from pole position ahead of tomorrow's first CAMS Australian GT Championship race. Despite mixed conditions, Tander's best for 1 minute 26.8 was only three tenths of a second off the qualifying lap record. That was a really fun session. Marco was just in front of me and we came in and put a set of tyres on and when we left pit lane we started that last run, Marco was just up the road so I was trying to chase him and I knew he was quick. I knew what time Shane was doing in the McLaren and um, yeah, the 26 around here was really cool. The Audi pair's pole position lap narrowly beat Shane Van Gisbergen and Clark Quinn in the Darrell Lee McLaren. Great to be back in Australian GT with McLaren and back in the sticks car. It was a really good session, Clark did a great job, he was third in his and uh, he's really lifted his game and then for me just missed it a little bit, but uh, P2, we're stuck. The second row will be filled by Marco Bonanomi and Greg Taylor, who will start alongside Elliot Barber and Nathan Antunes. I'm happy to be in the top two rows and I'm amongst good company. The car's feeling good. The boys from Techno have done a great job you know, with all the superstars rocking up for this round and uh, being able to rub doors with the best around the world and the best in Australia. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty stoked. third of the 30 car field was covered by less than a second with five different marks represented in the top 10. Audi, McLaren, Mercedes and Porsche were joined by the Max Twig and Steve Richards BMW. We had a bit of a test day down there a couple of weeks ago and we uh, now got all the ingredients that make the recipe so to speak and we sort of knew that the car would be reasonably competitive. At the end of the day everyone rolls the dice, one driver has to start either race and then it'll just depend if there's a safety car, if there's something else happens. It always keeps it nice and interesting. 